it's Monday. <laughs> Mondays can be pretty busy, but no complaints because Monday is usually my day when I do a whole lot of what I love. Baking, cooking, washing clothes. I love that stuff. Since it's raining and the digits are crippled outside, me, the dog, as you can hear in the background, and true, um, my husband are all in the house, hiding from the heat. So let's cook. I wanna cook brownies for dessert today. Um, I want to start kombucha. This is my Scobie Hotel, look at that. <laughs> I've always been afraid of this. So, maybe we'll start some kombucha, um, make some breakfast burritos, and get those put up for my husband, make dinner for tonight and tomorrow night, and um, lunch for my husband for a couple days this week. So I figured, why not bring y'all along? So let's get home. Cucumber salad. Do y'all eat cucumber salad? Let me know. Tell me some of the things that you love to cook or you love to do down in the comments. Let's talk about it. That gives me some ideas. And I'm going to show y'all my salad bar. <laughs> my indoor salad bar. Because you know down here in the south, in the south, it is too hot to grow lettuce outside. Even though I am successful with growing the Amaranth. Chinese multicolored spinach. It is doing really good outside. But that's about the only thing because the bugs are going to eat it up. It's going to bolt. So I pull out the hydroponic. Grow my salad right here on the counter. I call it my salad bar. And it's doing great. I have butter crunch and some romaine that's just popping up in there. I just put romaine in there like two days, three days ago. It's already popping up. So. Let's talk about it. What do you like to cook? What's your favorite thing? And send me some recipes. So, let's cook. Got my eggs done. I'm gonna add my sausage back. I'm gonna put all this in there. You know, my husband is a healthy guy. And he really don't like like little chunks of stuff. <laughs> I know what was driving him crazy to see me scrambling the eggs the way I were was um but these are eggs and sausage so far. And I didn't crumble it, I just chopped them up a little bit. And that is about good for that. Only thing I need to add in here are the potatoes. <laughs> My chunk potatoes and I'll grab those um, in a second. And then I want this to cool before I start wrapping it in my burrito. My tortillas. So that's good. Oh, let me grab the potatoes.
which were in the air fryer. I got shredded cheese. Um, I'll add to this once it's cool and I wrap them or roll them and then wrap them. And actually, I could freeze dry this, y'all. Put it in a jar or in a mylar bag and that's breakfast for my husband because <laughs> I don't eat eggs, onion, and pepper. But this is all for my husband. So hopefully I can get a couple wraps. Maybe eight done or so. Seven or eight. We'll see. All I need to add is cheese. And this is done. So I let it sit and cool. So I just seasoned my chicken with some Italian seasoning. I got some Redmond's. Real salt, of course. A little bit of Redmond's. And I'm not going to cook my chicken all the way through. I'm just getting some flavor on it, per se. And then I'm going to take that off. So I'll just cook it each side for about three minutes. Seasoning jar is only garlic, a little bit of redness, tiny bit of redness, but garlic, onion, chili pepper, very tiny bit, basil, oregano, rosemary, thyme, and sage. I think that's all I can remember. But that's what Italian seasoning is, so. In this pan that I just took my chicken out of, I'm gonna put one and a half-ish sticks of butter. <laughs> I may end up putting more, but I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna let my butter cook down first. Um, good. The only thing I'm really adding to this, I'm gonna add some parsley, some freeze-dried, and probably gonna add more than that. A little more of my Italian seasoning, which I'm not going to add much because I seasoned the chicken pretty good. Three, I got three garlic um, cloves and I'm going to shred these. And I'll let that cook down a few minutes. While I go and get something else done. I'll let that go a few minutes. Meanwhile, <laughs> back over here, I have a block of Swiss cheese. I am going to grade into the bottom of my dish. It is good enough. I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken in this pan. Hopefully I can get it all in here. I'm sure I will. I know we in the south and as y'all know my husband love rice 
but this is a pasta meal so we'll make some pasta shortly here not rice <laughs> but my husband loves pasta too so good to go there we go all right Alright, to this I'm gonna add um, about uh, I'm gonna add probably about three cups, four cups of heavy whipping cream. So I want a lot of cream because I need my noodles to be covered you know taken care of too not I don't want dry noodles I'll let this simmer for a few minutes because I want it to thicken up a little bit so we'll let this sit warm up get a little thick before we bother anymore all right fam so I figured while we have the madness going we might as well keep it going right so, I washed my hands really, really well. And now, I want to go ahead with my kombucha. So, I have this big, big jar. The good thing about this thing, it got a pour spout in the middle, in the front. So, I figured it would be okay to make my kombucha in here. So my tea has cooled and I'm going to pour it in and this is only a half a gallon remember because we are new with this and I want to test some things out first. So this is where I started a kombucha a couple weeks ago. Uh, well it's been about two weeks. No it has been about. 12 days. I think it's been fermenting too long, a little too strong for us. So I want to start a fresh batch. That's what I'm starting here in the big one. So you can see the difference in the color. This is just starting. This one is about 12 days or so old. So I'm gonna get my whole I'm gonna get my SCOBY out of my hotel. Really clean hands. I'm gonna use this SCOBY. And I'm going to put them down in here. Now, I could get um, starter from from here, but I have two scobies. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. This scoby, here, little guy. I'm going to put them over here in this hotel. I have one already in here. Now, I have another. I'll cover these up. I keep them all covered with cheesecloth and I'll let them keep creating more um, scobies. I call them Scooby Scobies, but <laughs> it's just the scoby. Another scoby will grow here, one will grow here, and another one will grow here. So I'll cover them all up. I'm going to start putting them back in our spare um, room. It's dark back there. And it's not hot and it's not cold. So I think it's perfect temperature for them. So I'll get them covered up and put away. Once this one is finished, uh, I'll go ahead. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add another gal half a gallon of water to this one. Yeah, I can add another half because this one is super strong. So I'll add another half a gallon of water to this one. Then I'll stick them in the back and let them go. So, this is our Alfredo sauce. I'm 
I'm going to add some Parmesan to it. So we can thicken it up a little bit more. And I'm going to grate some more Swiss cheese in here. Once my cheese melt, I'm going to go ahead and pour it in my own. Um, on my chicken. I'm going to cover this up. Stick it in the oven. It is way cooler than what it was earlier. <laughs> it has storm and rain and all that good stuff. Oh my God. Thank God. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this on. in there you can do this in a crock pot y'all and just pretty much let it do its thing but just doing it a little different this time I wanted my chicken covered so everything is nice and moist um I'm gonna let it cook for about 30 minutes and then I'll check it before I add more cheese or anything to it so I'm gonna cover this with some foil and stick it in the oven for about 30 minutes and then we'll check on it. In the meanwhile, we'll get our breakfast burrito rolled and wrapped and in the freezer. All right, let's Now we have that done.
these. Just go crack this one first. So this is sausage, egg, and I have cheese. Potato, onion, pepper. I know I need a bigger spoon. My husband was here, he'd be like, why are you using that little spoon? Well, what had happened was, so I'm gonna get a good amount of everything on here because many of you have seen my husband. He is not a small guy. <laughs> I'm gonna pop this with some cheese. Or I'll probably will mix the cheese in that now that it's cooled off. I'll just go ahead and mix some cheese so I can be done. So you want to make sure you get it all wrapped, all rolled in. This may be too much for the first one, but we're going to make it work. No, we're not. All right, now. See how many we can get done. I am gonna mix the cheese in here because it might as well right so and the good thing about these um breakfast burritos you can make everything I mean you can grow or raise your own chickens to have <laughs> We raised our own pigs last year, so we have our own homegrown pork. Onion, we grow. Pepper, we grow. Potatoes, we grow. And you can actually make your own, but these I paid for and they were like a dollar and some change. <laughs> and the cheese, I bought. But hey. You still can't beat that. Three or four dollars. And you can make a bunch of burritos or you can even make biscuits if you rather have biscuits. I mean, it's all up to you. Because that's just two ingredients, remember? Super easy. This, my friends, will save us a lot because my husband is a truck driver, so you know he doesn't stop and buy food or anything. He is local, but still, you know, I fix his lunch every morning, and um, it's just you know he love breakfast. He he really do, and this is an easy way for him to still have his breakfast, and I don't have to get up every morning and cook it which is a win-win, but I'll just get up, grab him one if I need to put it in the um, air fryer, the microwave, or cook it for a few minutes. That is way better than me cooking sausage, egg, and cheese at four o'clock in the morning. Even though, you know, I will. This is way better. So you don't do it while it's hot because you don't want to um, make your your um, shell soft, and then everything will just it will just bust open, 
and everything will fall out. I'll freeze these. I have my bag. Ooh. To store them in. Throw them in the freezer. And boom. He got breakfast for a couple days. I can do this every week. Easy peasy. Actually, I can. This can be something I can do on Sundays. So when Monday roll around, we are ready for it. So look at that. How easy is that for him to just eat and drive, eat and drive? He might eat two of them. He might just eat one. So my husband is very simple. Anyway, you know, he he can eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and be happy. But why not make him? Something that he loves that's easy for both of us. Make both of our hearts happy, right? I use my quail eggs so you know they're not sitting on the table, and that's something I can do every week is use those quail eggs up because some days I'm just like yeah I got an incubator full of quail eggs and I'm not cracking 30 eggs to cook my husband's breakfast so I just use our hen eggs chicken eggs then the quail eggs are sitting so this was a good way to utilize my quail eggs Eight breakfast burritos. Easy for the truck driver, aka Mr. Bobby, to maneuver the truck and eat breakfast. How about that? Throw them in the freezer, pour one out as you need it. All right. So we'll give our chicken about 30 minutes. For Alexa, how much time left on the timer? There are no timers set. I didn't set a timer. So we'll give our chicken about 15, 20 more minutes. And um, then we'll check on it. So we have that done.